top case, all the clips were broken. Uh, bottom case actually got cracked quite badly, so just waiting for the supplier to send me new ones. Okay, so it's wired up, uh, three phase in, no sorry, single phase in here, and that's just been wired back into the back of the ring main, so I'm getting 32 amp supply off here. <clears throat> so 32 amp supply into here, it won't run off 13, uh, it does take the fuse out on this this item, because it's a high current draw on a startup. Um, <clears throat> three phase motor output, straight to the motor, so that is wired straight the way down on this cable and into the motor box. Uh, just replacing the three original wires, so leaving that at 380, I'm not trying to convert to 220, it's a single uh, voltage motor this one, so it can't be converted. Hence uh, putting the inverter on it instead of taking it to 220 and a normal inverter. <clears throat> I got a run signal. Run signal goes in on these two wires and that comes straight down to my air switch. So air switch wires through the air switch and through the there's another switch on the bottom of the compressor, I don't know if you can see that. I'm not sure if it's an over temperature or if it's a compressor. Um, pressure but it was wired in originally through that so I presume there's some sort of safety feature on this so that's still wired in so the wire comes one wire comes in through that switch back down through there <clears throat> okay I've set the pressure it's giving me uh, 150 uh, psi at the moment so I've set that on this dial 150 psi and then this one here this nut is how you adjust the <clears throat> differential. So I'm taking it down to start up again at about 110 psi. So I always need at least 100 psi. At the moment we're reading ooh, 125. If I pull an air trigger, and there's no, no air leaks on this one, it's quite a good little compressor. And I've got a airline set up here. Let's see if she kicks in. I've got it on a 10 second start up. Hopefully it'll kick in like this. I'm going to set it once. It's going to take a good while to get down there, isn't it? Be best if I just dump the pressure at the bottom of the compressor and can't get to it. It's a 200 litre tank, so it's a little bit more differential than I thought there. An MDF just like that. This compressor hasn't been used for ages, so. it just stopped instantly one thing I did have to do um, was set it so there's no deceleration um, I had to do it so it's set to coaster stop 
because deceleration it was making it go crazy. That motor just didn't like it at all. Um, it just wants to be either started or stopped. So 10 second ramp up time. It seems okay, it seems to be starting up nicely on that. Um, and then coaster stop, so it just stops instantly with the inertia of the compressor, pulling it back. Anyway, it's working, it's cool. I'm quite happy with that. I've got my 150 PSI again. So plenty of pressure for the workshop. And all 220 volt single phase. Cool.